Molly is at home after school, playing a detective game on the internet. Kids from around the world can play with her. During the game, Molly can chat with other players and share clues. Molly is having a ton of fun until she receives this chat message. Hey, you're really dumb, it says. The message makes Molly feel sad and uncomfortable, but what should she do? The answer is easy. She ends the game and tells her mom about it. Then her mom contacts the people who run the game so they can stop the person who is sending bad messages to kids. With her mom's help, Molly finds another game that is just as fun. If you ever experience anything on the internet or in the real world that makes you uncomfortable, sad, or scared, the best thing to do is tell a person you trust about it. Who are people you trust? Well, people you trust might be your mom and dad, your guardian, your older brother or sister, a teacher or your principal, a police officer, your grandparents, or an aunt or uncle. These people are there for you when bad things happen. Imagine them all holding hands, forming a circle around you that keeps you safe. Now, the bad thing that happened to Molly in her game isn't the only thing that can go wrong for kids on the internet or in the real world. For instance, you might see a picture on the internet that makes you feel uncomfortable. Or someone might call you on the phone and say something that makes you feel bad or confused. People in the real world can make us feel uncomfortable too. And even people you trust might do something to make you feel uncomfortable. If this happens, make sure you talk to another person you trust about it. So here's another simple rule for staying safe. If someone on the internet or anywhere else makes you feel bad or uncomfortable, it's important to tell people you trust about it. They can help you feel better and protect you from feeling that way again.